Good morning everybody and welcome to your literacy lesson for today. So today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different again. So just to recap this week, on Monday we were thinking about key workers and we were researching a key worker. Then yesterday we were thinking about reasons why we are thankful and we were writing down these reasons. Uh, tomorrow we're really going to pull all of this learning together but, and we're going to write a thank you letter for our key workers. But before we do that I want us today to study a little bit more different types of texts and letters are going to be in that. So we're looking mostly at informal letters. So how to set out an informal letter. So I'd like to think about that word informal. What does that mean? Have a think. So informal is something, if you were to write an informal letter, that is something that you could write to a friend because it's quite chatty, it's quite friendly, it's not very serious. Um, whereas if you were to write to the Queen, we would write a formal letter because she's very important and we must be, you know, we must make sure that we are... If we were writing a letter to the Queen, we would use proper words. We would present ourselves such as, Dear Your Majesty, my name is Miss Shannon and I work at St Monica's. Whereas if you were writing a letter to your friend, you might say... Hi, Miss Foster. It's Miss Shannon. How are you today? Are you okay? And you might just have a little conversation with each other. It's less formal because you don't know them. So if it's formal, it's more likely that you don't know the person. Whereas if it's informal, then you do know them. So what is a letter? So have a little think to yourselves. What is a letter? If you have a little think, think about letters that we've written. Okay, so a letter is a communication. That means how we tell someone something. It is something that we write down and we can send it to them. So we communicate with them and tell them things. We write it all down and that is called in a letter. We say it's to the person, we tell them information and then we sign off from us to let them know it's from us and we send it to them, and that is what a letter is. So you can get different types of letters. So you can get thank you letters, which we're looking at this week. You can get postcards. Has anyone ever sent a postcard? Or you can get letters to friends and family who live further away. So you can have a look at these and think all of these could be informal. You could also have a formal thank you letter, but informal postcards and letters to friends and families, because you're not really gonna speak formally and in a proper way to your friends and family, are you? So here we have an example of a postcard. So this says, Dear Daisy, how are you? We are at the seaside. It has been like a dream and very nice weather too. What a treat. We have had ice cream every day and my mum said, maybe I can go on a donkey tomorrow and she will teach me to swim. What a week it's been. We've spent lots of money as it isn't cheap and our feet are tired, but it's been worth it. Lots of love and see you soon, May. Oh look, May, and that's going to Daisy. May's written this for Daisy. Daisy lives in Milton Keynes. So this is informal because, oh actually, have a think. Why is this informal? How do you know that this letter is informal and that it's to somebody that May already knows? Okay, so a few reasons. May is speaking to Daisy in a very chatty way. She's also speaking to her like she knows her. So I would take from this that Daisy knows who May's mum is because she talks about her like she already knows her. If you were to write a letter to the Queen, you wouldn't just say, Mum's said I can go on a donkey tomorrow um, because the Queen wouldn't necessarily know who Mum is and why we were going on a donkey. So that tells you that Daisy already knows a little bit about what May is up to. Now we have an example of a letter to friends or family. So up in the right hand side here, you can see they've written the um, address and they've written the date. Okay, so dear Gran, how are you? Mum told me you haven't been feeling very well. I've baked you some of your favourite cakes and wondered when it would be possible for me to come and visit. Hope to see you soon. Lots of love, Little Red Riding Hood. So have a little think about how you know that this is an informal letter. So, first of all, at the end just here, we've got XX. Now, Xs tend to stand for kiss, kiss. 
So you, that is informal. It's to our families and friends because they're signing off with a kiss. That's not something we would do in a formal letter. It also says lots of love. If you're sending love to somebody, that must mean that you already know them and that they are your friend or your family. You wouldn't send lots of love to somebody that you don't know. You would probably just say from and then your name. Okay. And you can see that they know each other because Little Red Riding Hood is talking about a conversation she's had with her mummy that her mummy had with her granny, okay? So, this is an example of a thank you letter. So we have written these ourselves. We actually wrote a letter to Santa asking him for something, didn't we? We haven't yet written a thank you letter. So here we see we have the address and then we have the date. Then we have, Dear Santa, I'm writing to thank you for the lovely presents you left at my house on Christmas Eve. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw them all so beautifully wrapped. Your elves must have been very busy this year. I especially love the bike and have been learning how to ride it, as I haven't had one without stabilisers before. The pink helmet is a perfect fit, and I wear it to protect my head when I'm on my bike in case I fall off. My brother James loved his train set and is playing with it every day since you delivered it. He loves the noises it makes and connecting all of the carriages together. I hope you and Mrs. Claus have a lovely holiday and the elves and reindeers have a well-deserved rest. Love from Daisy. Kiss, kiss. Okay, so you can see here how it's a really lovely thank you letter. So take note of this because you're going to be writing thank you letters tomorrow. But you can see how she's given lots of information in this. But it is still quite informal because she's saying that she hopes they have a lovely holiday. She's chatting about James who Father Christmas already knows and she's um, signed off with love so it's still informal okay so thinking about what we've just learned from these text types your task today is going to be I've made this and you're going to look at each different text type they're the same examples that I've just shown you and then you're going to write that here what the text type is so is it a postcard is it a letter to family and friends is it a thank you letter who would you write it for and why would you write it for each of them, okay? To show that you can see the differences in these text types. I hope you enjoy.